What's one thousand minus seven? Welcome back to my channel. This is the first tutorial from my Halloween series. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that every Halloween month I like to do um, SFXy inspired makeup looks on Instagram. But this time I am transitioning from Instagram into doing full blown tutorials here on YouTube. And this is the female version of Kaneki from Tokyo Go with a gender bender twist. Hey, I, I feel like it came out pretty well. Like this, this area here, this part was so hard for me to do. I had a ton of reference photos and I also tried to see like some tutorials on YouTube, but everyone was just doing their own thing when it came to the ipad so that's what i did my own thing so if you have contacts you can put them in i don't have contacts i'll probably just do some editing on my pictures to make it look like i got right contacts but i don't Shh. without further ado let's get right into this tutorial make sure you have your reference photo at hand that's just the one i'm using then i'm going to outline the shape of the mask on my face and i'm just using a cream concealer pencil i got from river road I decided I was just gonna make it a full blown face mask here instead of just like an eye patch. And this is what it should look like in the end. I'll start by filling in my brows, and I'm just using the Tolimoli eyebrow pencil. That then clean up the brows. I'm using the Illegal Pro Concealer in Fawn. By the way, if I haven't mentioned already, all the products I'm using are in the description box. Then using the Maybelline gel liner to prime my eyelids. Then I'll be setting the concealer on my brow bone with this color from Juvia's Place. And using this color as a transition shade. I'll be going in with Cairo from the Masquerade palette in the crease. And a dark brown shade to transition the black eyeshadow into the orange in the crease. I'll be patting this black eyeshadow into the eyelids using the orange corrector from Illegal to correct my dark circles. Then going in with copious amounts of the Illegal Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'll also be using this concealer as my foundation for this tutorial. Then setting the concealer with Benign Neutral Set. Be smoking out the waterline and I'll start with a transitional shade and I'll be using Cairo first, then going in with the dark brown, then the Maybelline gel eyeliner. I'll be smudging out the liner with this black eyeshadow. Lastly, I'll be putting Giza on my tear duct. I realized I forgot to draw the bolt on my neck, so that's what I'm doing here. If they don't have to be perfect, but just try your best to get them as even as possible. Then I'll be painting black around and within the guidelines that I drew. The brush was too big to get into tight corners, so I opted for a smaller one. Draw a small rectangle across your mouth. Make sure it is even on both sides from the line on the center of your mouth. Fill in the rectangle with white paint. I didn't do any of this and ended up having to correct it as you can see here. Then draw two parallel lines across the rectangle with the slit of your mouth falling in the center of these two lines. This might be a bit difficult when you get to the mouth area because of the shape of the mouth. It's a bit curved but just follow this, the lines on your mouth to it. Then you're going to want to draw teeth. You can make them as big or as small as you want but just make them as even as possible. Fill in the area outside the teeth with red paint. This is where I realized that I should have done a small rectangle because my mouth was too big so I ended up having to correct this with red paint. Fill in the slit of your mouth with silver. 
my camera died and I didn't know but what I had done was fill in the bolts and also draw the lines on the eye patch now we get into the hardest part of doing this mask and this is the eye patch but all I did was shade where I felt like the light was falling and added highlights of white but and black on the eye patch I made the mistake of using oil paints over here please don't do that because this will cause the eye patch to shift and it will not look good next we're going to draw the strings that are holding down the mask and cover up any place that you can still see the white concealer peeking through because the mask is just looking flat and one color we're going to bring some dimension back into it and we'll be using white paint to highlight the mask and I'm just going over the area of the mouth with white and then dabbing it in with my finger and then layering it on again I will do this across the whole mask to areas that I feel need to be highlighted Then to those exact areas that I highlighted, I will be topping them off with just a bit of white paint at the top and just a little smudging because I really want the white to pop out. Don't forget to do the same to your neck. The black paint from this oil palette was very very vibrant and decided to use it to bring back some dimension into the neck. but. I later came to find this was a very very bad idea and you should not mix oil paints with water paints. To add some depth to the mouth I'll be putting some white dots just beneath the white teeth and then just smudging in the dots with my finger doing the same on the top as well. I used silver oil paint from the eBay flash palette to fill in the balls but in hindsight I should have used white paint and silver eyeshadow it would have made it much easier to blend and give dimension to the balls. Using the butt of an earbud I'm dipping that into the same silver oil paint and applying that on the corners of the eye patch. You can ignore this step this was a mistake on my part. I wanted to do some shading on the teeth but then um, I later came to realize that I prefer the teeth white and so I had to scrub that off and repaint the entire tooth area again. So throw on your wig and contacts if you have them and your leather jacket and this is what the finished look is. So thanks for watching if you did like this video don't forget to share and do give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel though if you want to see more halloween inspired looks do stick around so if you can create this look as well please tag me on my social media i would love to see what you guys came up with thanks for watching and see you all in my next one bye see